If you've got yourself an Akai sampler and you want to make sure that it's running on the correct voltage, certain models, including the CD3000, the S3000, and some others, use a switch mode power supply that doesn't actually auto detect the incoming voltage. So in order to change them from a 100 or 120 volt to 220 slash 240 volt, it's really simple. Pull the top off, look inside the unit, and what you should see is a little board like so. It has a little jumper on there. If we look on the PCB itself, you go up right nice and close, up top there, you'll see that it says short AC 100 to 120, open AC 200 to 240. You see how there's like a little bit of a uh, white line on this side over here, All right? That little thing, that's what it's referring to as the jumper. If we're looking on the actual little device there itself, you can see just there it says 200 to 240. So this one right now is configured for 240 volts, 220 around that area. If you pull this up and open it, you can see a bit of a clearer thing of that little jumper there. What it's referring to when it's saying short or open, is that little jumper. If this were a Japanese or US model, this one actually came from Japan, that would have been, come on, like so. 240 volt operation, up, around, like so. Done. And that's all it takes to convert one of these from 100 or 120 volt to 220 slash 240 volt operation.